the Empire is beset by civil war once more. Secessionists hostile to your election as Emperor are trying to form a breakaway province to the south. Advance, crush them, and bring the lands back to your sovereign rule. To the north, Boris Todbringer of Middenheim, a bitter rival in the recent election, is openly hostile. A clash with Todbringer and the wolves of Middenland may well be unavoidable if you wish to unify the Empire. Plan for this eventuality. The Empire has ever been besieged by foes, but you are a Prince of Altdorf. Greatness runs in your very blood. Make the Heldenhammer proud! Now then, welcome to Warhammer Total War. Thursdays on the tabletops, dual playing Dwarves and Empire campaigns at the same time. I've played a little bit of Dwarves, I've played a bit of Vampire Counts, and I've played a bit of Empire. And I've decided to record the Dwarves and the Empire. Now I've recorded the Dwarves first, so if you want to get the basics of how to play, then go and check out the Dwarf campaign, because that will be a little bit more early stages for the first few episodes. Uh, this now comes the time for me to start playing the Empire missions, the Empire objectives, the Empire is at war with everybody it seems. The succession states are around me and uh, the Empire has crumbled and I've got to reunite it from this little province that I've got all by itself, Altdorf, the uh, Empire's capital. And this is Karl Franz, the Emperor. There are actually three to choose from for the Empire, uh, but I chose to go with Karl Franz, the nice, straightforward, simple, easy one, the one that's in the cinematic and everything else. Uh, but we've got to get started. And, uh, yeah, the, I think the best way to start with the Empire is a diplomatic start. So I'm going to start with the diplomacy here. Now, relations with foreign powers may be managed through diplomacy. Mike. Thank you very much, advisor, for telling me that uh, relations ban diplomacy. So, yeah, I've got the Empire here. I've got some allies around. The green are uh, positively allies, or positive allies, and the red are positively enemies. Very negative enemies, should I say. Enemies. So I've got a Skull Smashers orc tribe over there that needs smashing. And the Empire Successionists who want to take over or whatever. They want to kill me. So first off, I want to have a look to see what I've got available around me for treaties and things like that. So what have we got with treaties so far? Let's have a look with the treaties. We've got war with the Beastmen, war with the Empire Successionists, war with the Skull Takers, war with the Smashers... We've got a non-aggression pact with Stirland. We've got a non-aggression pact with Bretonia. We've got a non-aggression pact with the Dwarves. Uh, Kislev is a non-aggression pact. Ostmark is a non-aggression pact. Uh, I've even got non-aggression packs with the Counts, with the Vampires. Hmm, not so hot, I don't think that's very good. Uh, Wiss Wissenland, down here, is also a non-aggression pact. What have we got close by, then? Uh, Taban clan. I don't have a pact with those at the By minute. Sigma's Let's see if we can get a non-aggression pact with those. Uh, just have a nice simple non-aggression pact with those. Good, good. That gives us a, another little advantage. Uh, Middenland is going to be an enemy, if I'm not careful. Middenland could be an enemy. So let's see what we listen, can get off of wise We've got a short. slim chance of a non-aggression pack. Moderate chance. They accept it. Awesome. Okay, so we're working our way around anything that's close to us that could be a problem. So Marienburg is also another one that could be non-aggression pact. But I make no promises. Yes, to accepted. Awesome. Let's also see. I saw trade agreement was there as well. We can trade ours. For theirs. Yes, good. We've got a trade agreement. That's nice. Awesome. <laughs> any more for any more? Uh, School Smashers, Britonia. We already have a non aggression pact, but could we get a trade Britonia, agreement as well? Stranger. Moderate I... chance. They've accepted as well. Good, good. Uh, what else have we got close by? We've got 
Wizen Land, which has potentially Welcome, a trade. Welcome, my countrymen. Oh, they've got military agreements and military access and all that available. What I don't want to do at this stage is start making military alliances. I don't mind the non-aggression pact, but military alliances over the long term will have problems, I believe. Uh, let's have a look at trade here. So these are the ones we could potentially trade with. Kislev, we could potentially trade with. Welcome let's have a look. Kislev. A little Kislev uh, trade agreement. Them. Yes, no problem. Good, good. And more on the trading. Ostland. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace. Non-aggression pact. Markta. Yes. And also a trade agreement. Yes. Nice. Easy start. Diplomatic start. Nordland. Let's try Greetings them. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Oh, they got definite now, trade agreement. Yes. And what about the non-aggression pact? Yes. Okay. So we're basically making peace at the start. Making peace with as many people as we can. Making trade agreements with as many people as we can around the place. Just to get our hand Man in to come. say, we're okay. Don't do uh, don't mess something. about with us while we... Oh, okay. They, they didn't like that. Um, don't mess around with us. We're not hostile to you. My Let's see. Non-aggression pact with the do dwarves. Moderate. Yes. Okay. Good, good. Lots of non-aggression packs. Almost everybody is non-aggression apart from those we're at war with and that Karak Norn. So we're good to go with that now. Okay, so that's about the best we can do. We've done all the trading and all the treaties that we can. I don't want to go into any alliances with anybody just yet because as soon as they declare war on somebody, I find that I get drawn into a war against my other allies. And as you can see, I've got these non-aggression packs all over the place and I've become uh, a diplomatic... Um, moron, basically. A diplomatic moron for it. Let's have a look. So, Reichland is the province that we're in. And uh, we've got three other places within Reichland that we need to take over from the separatists that we're currently at war with. Which is all good. So all good. What I like to do is increase these as best as I can to give us um, a military base in the capital. So, the rally field would be one of the first things we do. And then as soon as we've got the population level up, we'll get to make a town and then we'll be able to start getting some sort of incomes as well coming from. But another way of getting incomes, of course, is to uh, I command take here. over other provinces. So we're automatically starting out with this this place over here, Grumbag, available to us, which is one of the provinces in Reichland, so it's worthwhile having a go. The Empire. Let's see us have our no first peace, fight. Just war. Against the Separatists, which no one's going to complain about because we're at war with the Separatists already. We are attacking them. We've got slight advantage, but it does mean that we're going to have to have a fight. I'm not going to do auto-resolution when it's so close a balance of power. So we'll have a little fight. Okay, so the battlefield is created. And here we are. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much of any sort of tactical location apart from being on a hill in full, in full of forest and all that. We may as well get this uh, slight dip here and have them come directly into us. So we'll build around crossbowmen. Uh, the crossbowmen being able to fire as far as that uh, crater over there. Hey, we'll have gunners. the gunners being able to fire as far as that crater over there. Halberders. We'll have the halberders to the side of the gunners so that they can uh, charge in in defence. We'll have the spearmen on the other flank. Ready to charge in on the defence. And, uh, yeah, I think that's good to start with. The swordsman I will bring in as a troop right in front of the crossbowmen. They can work their way forwards in defence again in a bit. Let's just spread these out a little bit more. Just so we've got a bit more space. The handgunners require a clean shot at the enemy. Which means that we've got uh, issues if we've got them uh, behind our allies. They have to have higher ground at least, I think, to be able to shoot in. I might be able to utilise this higher fire. ground, actually. If I was to utilise this higher yes, ground, sir. then I could potentially do some more shooting Finding from here. Room, Let's get up on the top here. Yeah, that's higher ground. And we can spearmen. have the spearmen set up in front of them. 
slightly to the left a bit. That's it. Just down there. Now, hopefully, they'll be able to fire over the top and into that same area, that arc of fire. Uh, these guys then can have a little less space. Be a little bit more spread out in the front here, or a little bit more compact in the front here. With the crossbows still hanging about there. Spearmen to the side and we'll have the knights ready to charge out from in here ready to charge out and funnel around and we'll have the emperor right in the center of the army keeping everything happy let's go let's see how quickly we can slaughter the baddies the emperor emperor against the separatists here they come Okay, are they moving around? No, they're just seemingly standing there. So we might need to cause a little kerfuffle. Let's get the knights to have a little run around. Draw the enemy out, at least activate them. So that they'll start coming at us. And let them make their progress towards us, rather than it being the other way around. Leg it, come on. Let's fast forward the speed a bit. In they go. Cause a fight. It's time to pick a fight. Oh, there's the uh, archers having a go. They're having a go, but they're not doing anything about it. Come on. Bring it on. Are they going to come after us? Okay. That didn't quite work out as planned. So let us... I guess we're going to have to move forwards. Slowly but surely. Working our way up to them. Uh, I need to get the handgunners ahead. So they need to go first. Break through. Come on. Break through to the other side. Let's just select everybody. Have them select as melee to the front. Toggle their guard mode. And have them reposition themselves all over the place. After my careful defence. I had defensive ground, but I'm the attacker, so therefore they are not coming for me, are they? So let's go up here. Uh, and see what we can do about it. Are they going to come for me? Or are they just going to keep shooting out of the woodwork? have a little uh, punt over here then in we go let's see there are just a couple of guys just a couple of guys coming after us there they are awesome okay so now they're attacking yes let's charge the spears it's probably a wise plan in it go and get those spear guys from there so they're not flanking me so much and Handgunners shoot into this range here. There we go. Awesome. Our Lord is under attack, but the shooting is happening all nicely. Good, good. Let's blow them up. And then charge in from behind. Oh, what a big mess. Make a mess. Make a mess. And then bring you up here. And we're routing them. They're all routing all over the place. Fight into there. Come on. That's it. Job's good. Job's good. Yeah, we're all good. And spears. Out the halberds. We, we intercepted nicely. Good, good. Yes, we're doing good. It's all good. Making them run away. Easy victory, is it? Easy victory. Let's just... Uh, everybody have a go at their leader. Get in there. Get stuck in. Smack their leader up a bit. His morale's falling. He's dying. Call yourself a separatist leader. No. No way. You die. Leave us alone. Okay. Let's just have a quick run after those through the fields. Make it fast. Go, go, go. Chase them down. Kill them off. Get rid of them. They, they, might, be, they might be a bit too fast for me, actually. Let's see. The enemy lord is dead. Well, at least there's that victory in sight. Uh, we go in. Yes. Yes. 
Chase them down. Chase them down. Well, it's taken us forever to get through the forest. And they're going to be off the pitch. So, off the pitch. They're going to be off the field of battle. So, job done. Nice and easy. Nice simple start to get us going. We lost 118 men, though. And uh, we killed 216. So, we did okay. And we killed their lord. That's the main thing. Killing their separatist lord. Teach him who the emperor really is. Plenty of loot. That's all good. I'm getting the Sword of Might. And a rank, which means a new skill for him as well. Awesome. Might be able to get a war horse so he doesn't have to walk around all over the place. Now we get options. We get to pardon the captives. Um, they, uh, they go back to their homelands. And as they are Empire troops, then parding them is the right thing to do. Executing them gives me uh, plus four leadership for five turns, but I don't want to kill Empire citizens. Uh, and take on the captives. Force the troops to change allegiance and allow them to serve in your army. Now that is more likely, isn't it? Force the troops to join my army. Get the replenishment sorted out there. We've engaged, so therefore we've completed the first mission. Easy. And we killed the enemy in battle. We gain the sword. Weapon strength equals plus 6%. Awesome. It and is the important to army act continues. If you have any intention of securing lasting authority over the now Empire, we've got to capture Grunberg. Capture Grunberg is the next mission, and we might be able to do that in the same setup. Really, let's what? see. Can I uh, can I Fight move into attack? Nation. Nearly, nearly, nearly got Men, time for it. We must no. attack. So let's have a look at what we can do over here instead. At the minute, there's nothing I can research because I haven't got a development that needs the things to research. And I've got no spaces to build a development. So I need to take this in order to start developing research into troops and stuff. So let us continue. I advise you to seek ways to further your methods of war. Let's give Lord. him a war horse. That's the first thing to do. It does go up to quite a cool thing at the end of the day. Um, the uh, Death Claw is a pretty cool mount for Carl Franz. Uh, but it takes a few levels to get to there. I think it's like 15 levels to get him to a decent war mount. Until then, we are just watching the world go by. We've got time in this episode probably to get sorted on another attack, another battle. But these, these guys are now being led into there to defend it. No Doesn't peace, matter though, because we war. are still the the better force, I should think. So let us get stuck in and fight the battle. It's actually saying that we are lower in the balance of power. Ah, because there's extra forces there already. Aha. So we kind of are weaker. Maybe if we siege them a little bit, that might be a good idea. Battle. We'll encircle their camp and siege them for a bit. Meanwhile, I can muster up another force over here recruit a lord uh, Dirk Wolfhart is a handsome man, he's very good misshapen, <laughs> it's a exact opposite and we can't, can't open that until we've constructed a wizard building so let's get Dirk Wolfhart as our charismatic handsome figurehead for this staying at home and we'll do some recruiting of this some soldiers, we'll have three of those and well three of those that gives us two turns. We've got plenty of income and stuff at the minute, so we'll just fast forward a couple of turns. Get those troops, take them down to the Emperor, and go and join the fight and siege the place. Maybe the sieging of the place will be in the next episode, uh, as that should be a pretty big fight, and we're trying to figure out who can do what over here, because they should be getting a little bit better as the time goes on as well. Uh, so, why not? Let's just fast forward, see where we get to, get uh, six more units to come and enforce the Emperor upon Grunberg in the next episode. Are they doing anything? Nope, they're not attacking or anything. Right, so you the can Empire. now come down here to battle and switch out the troops. Onwards, we must. Nearly, nearly switch out the troops. Can he attack with those to troops? War. Yes, he can. And we've now got a huge balance of power. So I might actually just do an auto-resolve on this one to finish up for this episode. 
Yes, a decisive victory. Didn't even need to fight. Killed both the warmongers. 720 there. And I will occupy the I see area. no other option. Oh, yes. Enemy killed in battle. We gain a research rate student. Awesome. Faction-wide. We captured that. Give another thousand treasury. Giving us Lord lots of gold. Lots of gold. Loot, occupy, raise, or sack two different settlements to get even more. Awesome. Okay, now Sources you report can... that Middenheim is sending help to the secessionists in an effort to destabilize the Empire. Intercept uh, okay. their reinforcements and demonstrate to Todbringer that there is but one master of Reichland. One master of Reichland. Well, this quest has been issued. Where? Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay. So I've got to get a force of troops up into there to fight a quest battle. Uh, so first Ready. off, let us see if we can uh, I command here. swap some troops together. Doesn't look like we can, actually. So I guess that'll be where it's left for this episode. I can now do a research, though. So what should we have? Let's have leadership or speed. Let's have uh, speed. Let's start off with some speed. There we go. And replenish our forces, get ourselves set up and go off on that quest mission in the next episode. So thank you all from Carl Franz very much for watching the first episode. A nice simple start, just getting us going. We'll do a little bit more empire building and another battle in the next episode of Warhammer Total War. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Even now, we make haste to the Emperor's ancestral capital. For the demented Rachnik Spider Claw leads an attack on Altdorf's walls. My charge is Karl Franz, the true wielder of Gal Maraz. But as he fights to secure his status as Emperor, Will his reign strengthen the nation? If Grudgebearer desires to return the Karaz Angkor to its former glory, then he must rid his lands of vile greenskins. Those gathering within the shadows of Everpeak are a good start.